Hi! Not all chakra crystals are created the same way, and I mean, picking the right color doesn't necessarily mean it is the right crystal. For this reason, I decided to start a series on chakra crystals. I'm Eliana from Everyday Crystal Magic, and in the first video of this series, I'll talk about some root chakra crystals. Chakra kits are one of our basic tools in crystal healing. It's probably the first thing we got when we started learning and experimenting with crystals. If you have been doing this for a while, you probably own a couple of sets to err on the side of caution. If you are new to this and probably not familiar with what I'm talking about, no problem. You can still watch this video and if you want a course on crystal healing, check the links below. It is my intention that this video helps you choose your root chakra crystals in a way that works best to address why it is blocked or what is causing fear and encourage you to seek the help you need in other healing modalities, if that is the case. First, let me say that our body has 114 chakras or energy centers. In Western culture, we talk about seven associated with our body, sometimes nine of which include the earth star and the soul star chakras. For the purpose of this series, we will stay with the seven main energy centers and we will start with the root chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. The root chakra, this energy, has to do with our sense of physical safety, health, and connection to nature. In terms of emotions, here is the sense of belonging, stability, and grounding. It is also the chakra that stores anxiety and fear when unbalanced. Now this is tricky because some say fear presents when underactive, others say overactive. I would say and feel free to comment depending on the trigger. Why? Because it depends on what you are afraid of. There are fears and there are irrational fears and there is mortal fear. There are panic attacks and there are panic attacks that can lead to death. I don't want to make this video all about fear and low vibration emotions, but fear is something that needs to be addressed because it is debilitating at all levels. It takes over with fatal outcomes. Fear becomes a driver and that is not how are we going to thrive and be happy. So enough of this, I think I made my point. So, traditionally, black and red crystals are associated with the root chakra. I'll skip the red ones. You can check the video on red crystals here. I chose to go with black and golden brown in this one. So let's get to that. If you need help with releasing fear and anxiety, tiger's eye. It will also bring courage and strength. Black spinel is a crystal to help release anger, grief, and resentment resulting from pain and suffering or experience tragic situations. This is a great black crystal for first responders, people in the kind of healing practice that has extensive exposure to that or treat that kind of trauma. If this is a situation that can be called irrational fear, then jet is the stone to work with. Now allow me to cross over to another modality when we categorize something as irrational. In my opinion, this means that there is something that needs to be identified and I strongly suggest working with hypnotherapy or soul aligning to understand what is going on and then clear it. While working on releasing these energies, use bronzite to pull yourself together. So this Next one is not exactly a root chakra crystal. It is needed when doing this kind of energy work, and that is larvikite, to summon inner strength and bring in high vibration. I'll finish with my favorite among the black crystals, which is black tourmaline. Use it to sanitize your environment, sort of maintenance, and to transform any residual energy. Always carry a piece with you. Now, how are we gonna use this crystal? If you're clearing these emotions that have been stored in the root chakra for a while, 
you study meditation. If you are consciously working on your triggers, you can carry them with you. If you want this crystal in your sacred space, you can get them in pyramid or cube shape or make a crystal layout or grid with them. For the layout, I recommend the square. For the grid, depending on the pattern, you will need anything from 7 to 19 stones, including the master crystal. If you don't have enough crystal, you can always use clear quartz and charge it for the intention. For how to make crystal grids, you can sign up for the free classes in the link below. And let me allow you before I go a note on housekeeping and maintenance. Since we are using these crystals for clearing this type of energy, show them some love and gratitude by clearing and recharging them. You can check my video on easy ways to cleanse crystals. I'll add it in the description below. I highly recommend you get a selenite plate. It will save you time and it does an amazing job. You can find one also in the affiliate links below. Don't forget to check all these links and all these videos related to the subject and for everyday crystal magic classes in Teachable. Let me know in the comments below which chakra you want to see next, other than the next one up, which is the sacred chakra. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yes.